getting lots of silvers. Is that is that a compliment? That means Idris is on his <laughs> way. <laughs> Welcome to This Is Marriage. Did you tell me he was going to do that? Like, I didn't know he was going to drop me in it like that. Today, we wanted to talk about compatibility. Mm. The definition is a state in which two things are able to exist or occur together without problems or conflict. Keep going. It says here, like-mindedness, similarity, agreement, affinity, closeness, fellow feeling, harmony, rapport, empathy, sympathy, friendship, togetherness, communion. They felt the bond of true compatibility. It also goes on to say, it means it's capable of existing or performing in a harmonious or agreeable combination. Capable of being grafted, transfused, or transplanted from one individual to another without reaction or rejection. Capable of forming a chemically or bio- biochemically stable system. Yeah, we do that. So, mm. I've just given you a definition of compatibility. Yeah. And it's a word that we always hear when you're looking for relationships, when you're in relationships, oh, I'm so compatible with him, he's so compatible with me. But what does it actually mean and is it actually possible? So we've got the dictionary definitions for you, but if you had to give a definition of compatibility, what would it be? I think that when it comes to humans, compatibility doesn't exist. If you had to give a definition of compatibility, what would it be? That's my point. I just... Well, there is a definition of compatibility. If you had to give a definition of compatibility, what would it be? (laughs) You could see we're not compatible. Compatibility would be... You would not ask me that question three times. Yeah. Compatibility... It's just... I think it's a false notion. What is the definition of compatibility? Mm-hmm. The definition from my yeah, head. Yeah. From my head. It takes um, a long time to get here. Compatibility is no arguments, always agreeing. No no disputes. Um or it would then oh gosh, I don't know. That's that's what it could mean to me. And the reason why it means that to me is because we are literally one mind. And so you know what I'm thinking and feeling, and so you you fit the circumstance, you fit my needs for that circumstance. Compatibility, it, it might be strange the way I'm saying it, but that's what it means in my head, in reality, not on paper. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Compatibility for me is just being like the other person. Ah, uh, look, that's the way I see it. And then that's really the problem right there, isn't it? Yeah. That's really the problem right there. Because I don't see compatibility like that. What you read on paper is compatibility. Yeah, but I wanted you to just give me a definition. But that's the problem. Like, yeah, you're the problem to... is <laughs> you went all over Stonebridge, back to Wilsden, up to Harlesden, to what I'm Wembley saying. Park, but you know, to get back. You know, that side of me you love, but this is it. It was, compa- it was compatible. Me, I thought I loved. <laughs> compatibility, that compl- complex mind you thought was brilliant. No, I. When you met me. No, no. And no. then, yeah, now you're going to see the real fruit of the compatibility. No, that, that, that brilliant driving mind. Me it's driving you nuts. nuts. <laughs> I'm trying to say compatibility in practice, I can't see it. I didn't want you to see it. I wanted you to define it. To define it means... You've done it. You've done right. it. Yeah, you did it. Or always agreeing. Okay, that's all I needed. You keep laughing. You wait till the camera stop. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. said compatibility in my own definition was looking at someone and thinking they're the same as you. Mm. 
I'm thinking because they're the same, then you're gonna get on. Yeah. Yeah. So when we first got together, you, you saw who? Me. Mm. I will say that. I thought, yeah, you just like me. We get on well. We are at the same levels on many things. Spiritually, I thought we were on the same level. Whatever levels mean in spirituality, but I thought, yeah, this could work. You was, a, veg- interest. You was a vegetarian. I wanted the. You if, wasn't. I wasn't, but I wanted my kids to be. But I wasn't having your babies then yet. In, in my, in my head. We were, <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, talking but about when we were dating. No, attracted yeah. to each other. Like, like I'm attracted to you because I think we're compatible. Before we was married. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm talking about. No, no, in fact, when we was getting to know each other, I knew you was a vegetarian, and I'm thinking we're compatible because if you're a vegetarian, then my kids are going to be vegetarian. Okay. So in my head, that was another brick in the wall of compatibility. Like, yeah, she's going to work. This is going to work really, really well. Okay. Which it, that part has, I guess. I it suppose is. it has. Yeah. Okay, then I was thinking in terms of compatibility, um, he likes to joke around. Do you know what I mean? So we'll just be joking all day. All we joke night. all day. We don't stop joking. No, that's not true. <laughs> Sometimes your jokes get on my nerves and mine get on your nerves, but we never thought it would. No, you, you have to get married to find out. This is it. <laughs> and so the definition mm. of compatibility yeah. has somewhat changed. Compatibility no longer for me means the same as. It means different but still able to fit together. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, you will. Oh, well, yeah, because I have to. To be compatible is about sacrificing your it's opinion. It's about giving and taking. It is. Because in my opinion, point number one, I guess, is compatibility doesn't exist. I don't think it exists. Not in the notion that we have it before we're yeah. in a proper relationship. In the notion of sameness, oneness, no arguments, totally getting on, it doesn't exist. Not for us, anyway. And I don't think it does for anybody. <clears throat> I don't think so. And there is, a, there is a sense of delusion when it comes to compatibility, is that we make up a lot of the things that we want, but I don't know, we don't really have a guarantee that they'll ever exist. Do you know what I mean? So if you're looking what do you for... you mean? Like, with, with compatibility, we fantasise. Part of it is a fantasy. So when you're looking for a partner, um, in particular, the the period that I'm looking at, when okay. you're looking for a partner, um, you have built an image, which is all about you. It's all about what's in your head. You've built that. And no matter who comes along, they've got to fit that. And depending on your character and how forgiving you are, will determine a lot of how much conflict you might really have. Because even if, like, when you said I, I was a... Good sense of humour mm-hmm. can get on your nerves at times. Yeah. You know what I mean. And um, I won't say anything Just about just a little bit. I won't say anything about you. No, no, no. Because no, there's nothing wrong with you. No. But right there, sense of humour can drive people mad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? A caring Stop person. Stop the joking. <laughs> Serious times. Yeah. Caring, like he's really caring. He goes out of his way for people and all that. And that's so, you know, he's out there helping people when he should be at home. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that could get in your nerves. Like, oh my days, he's such a, you know, he's so available. He's, he's so helpful to others. And then it's like, but yeah, wait, you finish work you, at five, you move people every, and, and every and evening. And it's it, you're thinking, you're thinking, that's the kind of guy I want in my life or woman I want in my life. Yeah. A caring person. Mm-hmm. Now, we, we spoke about this before in a previous video. It could be the very thing that drives you nuts, the feeling you love the most. Do you know what I mean? Say no more, Juanita. That's why I think it doesn't exist. Okay. That's but, why I find it hard. Uh, that's why I found it hard to define. Because I'm like... They try to clean it up now. Yeah, I have to. Because you don't <laughs> drag me to the dirt. Wouldn't you? you drag me through the dirt. I have to bring it back. But I don't think it exists. i just like, what does it look like? I don't know. Why? Point number two. Point number two is because we know it doesn't exist, when you get into a relationship, do not force it. Don't force compatibility. Mm. It's like your 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 you know them thousand piece puzzles. Yeah. You get frustrated because you're like, I wanna get this puzzle over and done with. I wanna put the picture together. Oh, deep. And then you've got a piece <laughs> of the puzzle. <laughs> 
I'll black it out, don't worry. You, you got this piece of the puzzle. Is it covered? Gone? Gone? Gone, yeah. You got this you piece. You tell me it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, no, come here, come here. Can't have that on camera, man. You got this piece of the puzzle. It's a thousand piece puzzle. You're trying to put the picture together and you find this piece and you think it looks like it should go there, but deep down in your heart, you know it shouldn't fit there. So, so you force it in and you force it and it ends up that the thing won't work and it won't, the, the puzzle will not be complete because you're forcing in. It's so deep for me, you've got to take me back, take me back. <laughs> take this, me back. This is the deep guy you take married, me man. Back. <laughs> take me back, take me back to compatibility. Like, if you're, you're trying to build that picture, if you force something that shouldn't be, or force, just force it. Apologies, so the battery died, yeah? So I had this analogy where you've got a thousand piece puzzle and there's a piece that shouldn't go in and you're forcing it in, it's not gonna work, is it? Because if you have to force it, then it means really it's not meant to be there. So how do you force compatibility? How do you force it? How does it? it look like if you're forcing it? I said don't force it, but how does it look like if you are forcing it? You're trying to make someone, f sometimes it's like you're trying to make someone fit that concept of what you think they should be. But it's not to be forced, do you know what I mean? You've got to encourage it. So you want to force that person to be kind. You don't force kindness. You don't force love. You stimulate it. And, and that's for them to be compatible with you. Yeah. And, and, and it's, it, there's nothing wrong with trying to encourage attributes. But if you have to force it by cussing, moaning, always complaining, it doesn't work. It won't go. You can't stuff that piece in. Because if it was meant to be there, it would just slide in. So what you have to do is you have to find the right piece of that person. And, uh, and take your time, like the thousand piece puzzle, you've got to take your time and find the right piece. And if it's the right piece, it will just go in. Okay. But I also think it's like, when I say don't force compatibility, I think I'm also saying don't, don't fantasize. Don't imagine that this person, he is exactly like me and we're going to get on with. Actually, you're just ignoring real attributes that are coming up. Oh, he's so soft and gentle, but he has murderous rage road, rage road, rage road, rage. That's going in. Like that. I can't go in. <laughs> he's so soft and gentle, but he has some murderous road rage. Do you know what I mean? And it's like you just ignore that and think, no, he's just soft and kind and softly spoken, just as I am. You can also really be naive and make up bits just to yeah. make yourself feel compatible yeah. to say we're the same and you're actually not and it's yeah. all right yeah because you're trying to still again i mentioned the word delusion is like we're trying to delude ourselves sometimes that the fantasy can still happen point number three you have to make compatibility happen i i i think i had trouble when you asked me about compatibility, it only makes sense because we work on it, you know, and that takes, it can take blood and sweat. And that's, that's reality. Years. years. It could take years. It could take yeah. years. And that does not mean that you marry anyone. You've got to use wisdom like that, you know. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not, you don't just get with someone because they're there. You don't get with someone because you just feel pressure or because, for any silly reason, you've got to. Or you feel compatible. Hmm? You don't just get with someone because like we're so compatible because you actually don't know, don't know much that. about the person until you're doing a, a good bird within a couple of years. You know what I mean? And then you can make compatibility happen. You have to make it happen. You have to make it happen. Because like you mentioned earlier, people slip and slide. Mm -hmm. People, I will change. I will become depressed. I will stop having an interest in people. I will stop being funny. I might. Not that I've, I've never stopped being funny. That's the truth. I might stop being funny. I might get depressed. You said that twice. Did I say that? I'm not depressed though. No. <laughs> Should I cut that bit out? <laughs> you know, I, things might happen. You gotta have to make, like, you're gonna have to magic compatibility. You're gonna have to make it happen. Yeah. So you're gonna have to start liking beans on toast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, make it happen. Yeah, you got to make it happen. I think compatibility is something that you work at. It is not a magic wand. It is not something that you see at first sight. 
It is something that you cultivate where you start fitting in like a glove. If I had a glove, I'd have it on my hand. You start fitting in like a hand and a glove. It's like actually, you fit, even though we're different. This glove's made out of wool. This hand is made out of flesh, but we fit nicely. Do you know what I mean? And it's something that you cultivate. It's something that you work on. Compatibility, we said for point number three, is that you have to make it happen. you got to work at it. So we want to thank you for listening. We want to encourage you to subscribe to our Instagram page. you want to show it? So if you go on Instagram, on our Instagram, this is Marriage UK. Anyway, so this is Marriage UK. And then also our Facebook pages. This is Marriage. There's no UK on it. No. This is Marriage on Facebook as well. Um, and we will be back on our next video. And we always end by saying... Stay the course. No, no love course. never fails. Love never fails. Stay the course. Ah! Pick, pick the thing out then. I am trying. Oh.